students today we are going to know to identify the double stranded dna sequence which is having higher melting temperature okay so first let's see what is melting temperature melting temperature is also known as denaturation temperature that means the temperature at which of the double stranded dna is present as single strand okay and this melting temperature is mainly depend upon the content of gc base pair you know that in double stranded dna your g that is guanine is always base pair with cytosine with a three hydrogen bond and adenine is always base pair with thiamine with two hydrogen bond so the higher the content of gc base pair there will be higher the melting point of dna that is melting temperature of dna this is why because it requires more heat to dissociate this hydrogen three hydrogen bond compared to the at base pair that is it has only two hydrogen bond so let's see the problem so the problem is of the double stranded dna sequences given below the sequence that is expected to have a higher melting temperature is so in these four option you have to find out which sequence is having higher melting temperature so here you notice that uh, in the given option they have given only one strand of your double stranded dna the other strand you can easily write because the two strands of double stranded dna are complementary to each other that means your adenine is always base pair with thiamine and guanine is always base pair with cytosine and this hydrogen bond only responsible for melting temperature of dna that is the increased hydrogen bonding within a strand of dna will increase the melting point so the dna sequence with the more gc base pair will have the higher melting temperature the DNA segment with more number of AT base pair have lower melting temperature. To come to this problem, the first sequence has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 GC base pair and 15 AT base pair. So, totally we have 20 base pair for all the sequence. So, here you have 15 GC base pair and 5 AT base pair. So, here only 1, 2, 2 GC base pair and remaining 18 AT base pair. So, in this sequence you have 14 GC content and 6 AT base pair. Okay. So, the second sequence is having more number of GC content. So, this sequence has higher melting temperature. So, the option, answer is option B. The second problem is, if one DNA sample had a melting temperature of 85.5 degree centigrade and another showed a melting temperature of 88 degree centigrade, what might you conclude concerning the base composition of two DNA sample? So, what they have given sample 1 has the melting temperature of 85.5 degree centigrade and sample 2 has the melting temperature of 88 degree centigrade. So, second sample has higher melting temperature. So, it shows higher GC content and so sample 1 has lower melting temperature. It shows that this DNA sample has higher AT content. 